<laughs> sad. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lind, your favorite Danish Filipina girl. And for today's video, we're going to review slash try on Caroline's newest, kind of newest product. This is their oil control mattifying loose powder and their acne spot concealer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try applying it on my face and see how the colors match, how it feels like the coverage, and also the overall um, functionality of the product, whether you should purchase it or not, um, based on my experience. And if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. Okay, to start things off, I already have my eyebrows on, my eyeliner. That's basically it. <laughs> I just thought, like, what else do I have? Yeah, that's basically it. All I have is uh, my eyebrows and my eyeliner on. Um, but before applying the concealer and putting on the powder, I want to put on foundation first so that I could see, like, how... Like, I want to get, like, the full experience. So, I'm going to put on foundation first. So for today's foundation, I'm going to use this Everbelina Liquid Foundation. Um, it's in the shade Porcelain. And if ever you're wondering, it's 220 pesos. So now that we have applied the foundation, it gave us a bit of coverage, but I could still see some of my blemishes here. And also my eye bugs are still visible, so we're going to work in the concealer. Again, we're going to use this Caroline Acne Spot Concealer. By the way, this is going to be the first time I try this out. Um, I got it in the shade Natural. This is their lightest shade. It kind of sucks that they only have four shades available because there are more complexion colors than four shades, but you know. Um, it's something, I guess. It smells like soap. <laughs> it doesn't smell like chemicals like other products do. So that's good. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. Very clean, very crisp looking in terms of packaging. And it's matte, so it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna try this out on my eye bugs first. So from the one dip from the bottle, I was able to apply this much on my bags area. Um, from looking at it right now, it's kind of dark or not that light enough for my skin. And this is the lightest shade. So I think I have to blend it out to see like how it's really going to... Um, look on my skin so for blending i want to try out two techniques um i'm going to blend this with my finger my ring finger i'm gonna blend this with a blending sponge so i'm gonna do my finger first here this is um, not light enough for my skin i think yeah it's kind of too yellow i don't know if it picks up on the camera but it's kind of too yellow for me. And this is the lightest shade. Um, yeah. It's too yellow. Haha, <laughs> sad. I mean, yeah it is. Like, I usually get to pull off like, off colors, off shades in terms of my foundation and concealer, but uh, I'm not sure about this. I, I'm not really sure what it looks like on camera, but in real life, you could see the difference. Because these parts are like more on the fairer tones, while this one is suddenly yellow. Huh. But in terms of um, application, it kind of looks seamless when I blended it with my fingers, and uh, that's good. See, it looks good right now. And in terms of coverage, it's good. It's not 100% like, oh, it's gone, but it's good. It's good. It's not disappointing in terms of coverage. Now I'm going to blend this with the Beauty Blender. This is damp, by the way. Make sure when you do this, you pat it and not glide it or swipe it. Because it beats 
the coverage. <laughs> okay, so when comparing the two techniques, I prefer blending it with my fingers because I think some of the product transferred to the beauty blender so I could see the difference. Um, my bag is not that visible here compared to this one because I can see that line. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can see that line right here compared to this. The line is kind of not there. So, yeah. So, my recommendation when trying to blend this into your eye bags is to use your finger instead of um, a blending sponge. Or if you're gonna use a brush, then maybe it's the same thing as a blending sponge. But in my opinion, I suggest for you to blend it with your finger because it gets in there properly and gives more coverage. So, that's my recommendation. Let's move on to the acne marks. I'm just gonna put one dab on each acne mark. I applied it already. I just have to blend it in. I'm just gonna go and blend it with my finger because I prefer that based on the test right here. And it's really, really yellow. I think you can see it now, but it's really, really yellow. It's really yellow. Okay, damn. It has so much potential. In terms of coverage, it's superb. I really like the coverage. It's, in my opinion, it's kind of full coverage. It's a full coverage concealer based on what I'm seeing right now. Like, all the coloration is gone. God, it's the color, the shading. The shade is so wrong. This is the lightest shade, but it looks so yellow on me. And it's so ugly, like, in the camera, it looks okay, it looks okay, but in real life, my god, it looks so weird, it's so weird, like, I, get, I have, like, yellow patches on my face. So if ever you're able to match in terms of the shade, um, good for you, because this, this has amazing coverage, but if you're as white as me, um... A miss in terms of the shade it's so disappointing so that's the concealer um, I'm gonna try out their oil control mattifying loose powder in terms of packaging this one is frosted and this one's not but they're like the white thingies are matte so yeah this is also in their lightest shade this is in the shade sugar with a powder buff okay it smells like lotion. I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna bake because I don't like baking. It looks very weird in real life. So I'm just gonna like pat it over. Just like try to get some coverage. If it gives coverage, if ever, I don't know. Well, it is mattifying. Compared to this, this is just concealer and foundation. This is the one where I put the powder on. And as you can see, it's absolutely mattifying. Very quick. And I think it gives a little bit of coverage, not a lot. The powder is really nice. So far, I'm not cakey or anything. And it really mattifies your skin. So if you're really oily and you want to try this out, you can. Because it will deliver results in terms of trying to make your face matte. And it gave me a bit of coverage as I can see here, but not a lot. In terms of the shade, it's really nice. It really suits my complexion. Um, I think it cancelled out the yellowness a bit, like a tiny bit. But it's still there, but it cancelled it a bit. Um, I can still see it though, but it cancelled it a bit. But for their stipulation about being mattifying, it really is mattifying. For the powder, it's really good. If you want to get it, then get it. I support you. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about it as of the moment. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So I'll just finish my overall look and I'll be back in a minute. So this acne spot concealer has great potential. Maybe if they widen their 
shade range that could be so much better for them because this is not my shade obviously the lighter shade is not my shade so it's kind of hard it's, it's kind of hit and miss because i really like their coverage i really like the coverage that the concealer gives my skin that coverage comes from this budget friendly concealer is it's such a great product to have out there but in terms of shade as i said it kind of sucks so it's a hit and miss so if they as i've said if they widen their shade range then yes it's a it's, it's i would love to get it again but right now with the four shades they have it kind of sucks for me because i don't have my shade but if you're lucky to find the, the shade that matches your skin very well then yeah it's gonna be amazing for you but if you don't have the shade then join the club <laughs> i can't really say that i recommend it or don't recommend it so it's basically up to you I just gave you the information do what you will with that information on the other hand for this oil control mattifying loose powder it's great it doesn't cake right now it doesn't cake um, has sheer coverage but it's there it really mattifies your face I put on highlights so it kind of defeats the purpose right here but on my forehead you can see super nice super matte if you're looking for that then get this I really recommend this um, and in the shade sugar for me it's good um, no problem with the shade it's it's good I recommend this one it's available on their stores like physical stores they have it on Shopee and Lazada I bought it on Shopee I'm not really sure about Lazada though anyways yeah I got it from Shopee so if you want to check that out I think they're still on sale so you could check that out I got both of them for $3.99 which was kind of sale I saved money according to them <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of my video. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys learned something from it. If you did, please do comment down below. And also, please do comment down below also videos you want to see from me. Please do like this video and also subscribe down below since you're already here. And please do click that notification bell so whenever I post a new video, you see it first. And also follow me on my social media here, here, and here. And that is the end of my video. Hope you guys stay safe. See you in my next video. And peace out. Bye. Bye.